Hello, Erank. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Starla will be with us just now. Yeah, not down front today. <laughs> Hey. Uh, welcome again to another Thursday live Q&A with Starla and Pam. We're here to answer all your weekly questions. If you're watching this on YouTube, there'll be links down below to join the Facebook group live, just remembering to like unfreeze Starla um, to, join, <laughs> to join the Facebook if you have an Etsy shop and want to join in with us live every Thursday. Um, right, and our announcements for the week. Oh, I see, I see Debbie, and she'll kill me if I don't remember to say. Not only for Debbie's sake, should we be saying, don't forget to hit the bright orange refresh data button on your eRank account, but we also wanted to let you know, just check how old your browser is. It's um, now some old browsers are no longer being able to be supported on eRank, so make sure that you have the most up-to-date version of your browser, whatever is that you're using that should be pretty easy to update but some people have some pretty old ones and the the techie people let me know that that's like really bad for security so check that out um and i think that's about all we have for this week unless debbie chats at me and lets me know what else i've got <laughs> all right um wow I'm in, I am not, I'm like all out of my jive in my upstairs office. Um, we're shampooing the carpets downstairs. So if you hear any weird noises coming from my end, um, I promise it's not the gremlins in the basement. It's my husband, who's kind of like a gremlin down there doing carpet shampooing. Um, see, Elaine said that uh, I'll be working on canning, so I won't comment much, but I'll be listening. And said, good evening, sat here in my PJs watching you ladies. PJs are life. Absolutely. I mm -hmm. literally only just changed out my PJs to come on here mm -hmm. <laughs> just now. And that's just because it's like really cold upstairs. Starla is now upstairs and has been released from our basement. But <laughs> it looks like I'm actually upstairs and look like I'm in a basement, but it's freezing up here. So, yeah, I changed into actual clothes. <laughs> Yeah, this is this office is where yeah, I spend. You, you don't know. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say you, you guys don't know. Like you only see us from from the waist up. You you don't even know if we have legs or anything. Starla could just be show, photoshopping her legs. Oh, now that's showing off. <laughs> <laughs> I have two of them, guys. Two whole legs. <laughs> Let's see. Jojo said, I can't see E-Rank on my laptop anymore. I tried updating my browser, but couldn't. So now I just... Okay, so if you let me know that was okay. Um, I think we're back in the house. Hello, Stella? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yep. Oh, okay. Did you hear me read that comment? I didn't hear you. No, um, mine froze up for oh, okay. like a couple minutes there. Jojo said, I can't see E-Rank on my laptop anymore. I tried updating my browser, but couldn't. So now I just use it on my iPad. Oh, that's weird. Um, yeah, if you've got an updated browser, should be working. Um, as ever, support at erank.com and let us know what's going on. Um, hopefully the guys will be able to figure it out. Um, and yeah, when, when you're mailing that, if you can give us all the details, you can possibly um, screenshots of what you're seeing. If that, you know, if the, anything looks a bit funky, that can that can help. Um, you'll just get through to me or Debbie or Irina. And. Yeah. Um, Pam, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, you're very frozen. Very frozen. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> let me let me make sure. Am I frozen or is it just Pam that's frozen? Let us know, guys. <laughs> like because things changed on my end, I feel like it has to be me where the issues are, are happening just because I am the the thing that changed this week. Let me know. Lost Pam. Okay, so it is just Pam. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let me message Pam. <laughs> okay. Well, in the meantime, while we're waiting for Pam, if we disappear for any reason, um, oh, there she went. 
if we disappear for any reason, we'll start a new stream. But, <laughs> well, she did say it was very cold upstairs. Yes, that's why she froze. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we'll figure it out. Down to me. Well, if you have any questions for me specifically, feel free to let me know. Um, we always have all the questions in like the last five minutes of the stream. So I don't I don't know why I think it's like everybody's had time to think, but it would be nice to get those questions earlier in the stream. That way we have lots of time. So feel free to get those in. And then there's Pam. Hello. That is the weirdest thing because my internet my internet went down just as I was talking about techie stuff. Um, but apparently it's still able to stream even though my internet's gone. So that is the magic. I don't understand that. <laughs> yeah, because I was expecting any minute I would disappear because we're streaming from your end, but I was yeah. I was pushing out just fine. That is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now Pam is back. Guys, if you have any questions, let us know. We are at that really critical time on Etsy where the holiday sales are already starting and it's it's going to be, you know, it's a little slower. Um, but tomorrow is October 1st. Am I correct? Yes. Tomorrow is the first. So for one, we all got to wake up that Green Day guy tomorrow. And for two, we all need to make did you get the joke, Pam? Nope. You didn't get the joke? You got to wake up the Green Day guy tomorrow? Oh, when I thought of tomorrow, it's next month. It's the end of the month, isn't it? No, you got to wake him up when September ends. Yeah, it, we're going into October, aren't we? We're going into October. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a Thursday, guys. It's. Oh God! How many of you actually? How many of you actually got the joke? Um, <laughs> but anyway, I got the joke. I just didn't get the month. <laughs> <laughs> Pam's in August right now. She left her brain back in August. She's still she's still enjoying the summer sun. <laughs> um, we are at that really critical time where right now nobody's really thinking to shop because everybody's kind of thinking about Halloween. Um, but holiday shopping is going to really like slam starting November 1st. I think that everybody like takes down their Halloween decorations and then it's like Christmas stuff goes up. Um, so this is not the time to sit around twiddling thumbs. If you have not started preparing for the holidays, you need to start doing that now because there are already holiday shoppers on Etsy. I was just looking at the trend buzz uh, last Friday and some of the top terms were gift related terms. That means that people are looking for gifts or they're, they're shopping for gifts. Um, so you want to make sure that you're really, really optimizing for that busy season because it's going to be here in no time at all. October is really the last month that we have to prepare. And, and honestly, by the end of October, there's going to probably be quite a few shoppers as well who are just getting started early. But once November hits, that's the craziest season on Etsy. It is the most busy month on Etsy. So yeah um i was just saying to sharon the other week um we were just talking about that and basically just saying you can go from nothing to way too much in the blink of an eye and she's like do you promise and i'm like unfortunately i do you know most of us if we're really you know if we've been around for a while and we're working at it you are going to get that that lucky time and you're not going to feel lucky because it goes from nothing to everything in seconds and it, yeah, it's quite scary, but it's cool. So we've got the we've got that time of year coming up. And another thing, totally, a lot of people are saying they're quiet just now, and that's totally normal. Do not go in just now and change all your listings, thinking they're not working, because it might just be that it's quiet. Make new listings, do all that, but don't suddenly go. My SEO is not working. What can I do to get sales? Because you might spoil the sales that were just about to come. You might be in the right place, but buyers are just not quite buying yet. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's one of those things where, so for example, all through like August um, and September, all the stores had Halloween decorations out. And nobody like, and I'm obviously talking of the US because I know that um, we're a little more crazy about Halloween than some of the other countries are. But uh, August and September, it was all Halloween decorations. Now it's October. 
or tomorrow is October. And then we've got a full month until Halloween, but all the Halloween decorations in stores are already gone. They have already, no they're, way. they're already almost all gone and they've put up Thanksgiving stuff, which is November. And I was at the, uh, the hardware store yesterday. And that's where you go. If you want to buy like the big yard, you know, things, big yard decorations and big inflatables and things. Uh, the Halloween section is almost completely gone. And it is all Christmas now. It is like Christmas trees, big Christmas inflatables, just hundreds of giant Christmas things at Lowe's and Home Depot. So guys, follow retail. Look at what retailers are doing. You have to kind of follow suit with what they're doing. And especially because people are going to go into those stores and they're going to see that Christmas stuff. And then they're going to be reminded, oh, it's already time. And then they're going to feel inspired to start shopping as well. So you have to be prepared for that because it's it can be just an overnight thing where one day nobody's shopping and the next day everybody's shopping yeah and as starla says it it really is mm -hmm. it's starting to ramp up just now but that it, it's like a tipping point people start buying and buying and then suddenly not everybody not everyone is going to have an amazing christmas but hopefully most of you guys are going to have an amazing time and it comes from out of nowhere so be ready for it. Um, who is it that said they'd already? Um, and so she's just just listed some new Gothic Christmas paper. That sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine said, my E-Rank dashboard says I have one item with a one word tag, but when I click on it, there's no data. Can I fix that? Um, when you say there's no data, where is it taken to you to and what do you see? Um, one thing that some people were seeing and not getting when it takes you to the listings page of one word tags maybe you want to click on oh no hang on yeah i'm thinking a different thing um we'll go to your listing audit of that page and it will show you all the tags and then you'll see which one it's flagging for having no data and then you fix it you have to fix it in etsy um there'll be a button on your listing audit to take you to etsy and you can fix it there. We we can't. We don't make changes to them within E rank. We send you to Etsy to do it for you. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Yeah, I was thinking it was missing photos or something when I started speaking there. <laughs> Linda said, "I'm getting rid of earring listings and adding them as an add-on for five dollars to necklaces of a similar theme." Should I continue to list under necklace slash pendants or under jewelry sets? It seems like I may be misleading people because earring, the earrings aren't free. I wouldn't consider them a set unless they were included. I would list them as pendants uh, and then the add-on is, is optional, but it's not a set if they choose not to buy it as a set. So I wouldn't consider that a set. Yeah, if you've got a lot of them, make sets as well. Have yeah. you know, make Make a listing that is the necklace and the pendant and the earrings mm -hmm. all at the same time but that's a set but yeah if it's an add-on it, it's not really yeah lisa said is seen on etsy all of my listings in the first couple of pages i'm not seeing much listing variety from day to day even though there's not much difference in the items that are not seen on etsy so spot spotted on etsy yep um yes and no what Spotted on Etsy isn't people finding you and stuff. All it is is whatever the keywords you put into the monitor section in your edit keyword section and all the other keywords that we have in our database. Once per day, E-Rank's little bot goes and searches um, Etsy for what they can see for those keywords and it lets you know any that it's seen in your sh of your shop all out of all of your listings however if there's other keywords that are working for you and our our system doesn't know these keywords then it won't search for them it's it's only a computer it only searches for what we tell it for so this is really important for all of you if you're if you have other keywords that are working for you, put them into the Spotted on Etsy so our system knows to look for them. Um, yeah, because you, you could be getting seen, listings could be getting seen for other keywords that we just don't know about yet. So let us know them. All right, let's see. Carmen said, honestly, I think everyone learned after last year's shipping slowdown for deliveries that people are going to start shopping early 
to make sure stuff arrives on time. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people will. I'm sure a lot of people will wait until last minute and they will be very disappointed and they will be very angry. And unfortunately, that's something that we will probably have to deal with this year on Etsy as well. So I would plan for that stuff now. Um, when you have a decide on what your shipping cutoff date is, don't go based on what the mail service, whatever mail service you use, don't go on what they recommend. It's never right. It has never been right. Uh, they, they will estimate that like, oh, ship by December 20th to arrive by December 25th. No, 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 no. That's not possible. Um, always add a week, two weeks, three weeks, um, to what they recommend. I usually, I used to stop shipping December 1st. Um, for the, we're doing print on demand now. So we are probably just going to choose whatever our, whatever like print facility um, ships, whatever their shipping cutoff is for the one that takes the longest will end up being our standard. That way, if somebody places an order, but you know, because I'm doing, we're doing print on demand, we have different like ship locations depending on what they're ordering. So we'll just pick whichever one is the longest and make it the standard for the whole shop um, just to be safe because you never know. And uh, Anthony was telling me on Tuesday about this big like a cargo ship in California off the coast of California that's just been stalled there for like three weeks with a bunch of mail that it's just been sitting. Um, there are huge shipping delays. And plus the price is supposed to go up on, uh, what is it, first class? I believe that, or is it first class not being affected? I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. The, the articles were published in the group, um, but I, it didn't stick in my head. But yes, the prices are yeah. going up and the, they have said that shipping will be delayed. So yeah. yeah. So just, just plan, plan for it to be like last year, maybe even a little worse. Um, I, a lot of people, got on me last year and they're like, oh, you're leaving money on the table by cutting off your shipping on December 1st. I said, yeah, I might be leaving money on the table, but my customers aren't going to be unhappy. And then like clockwork, you know, we got into the holiday season, we got into December and we had all these sellers super stressed out because they had angry customers whose products didn't arrive on time because of the mail delays. And it's one of those things where, yeah, you know, you might miss out on a couple sales, but honestly, if you just put your shipping deadlines right in your listing, you don't have to close your shop. Just take one of your listing photos and say, if you order after this date, it may not arrive on time. When they place the order, send them a quick message that says, hey, you know, I, um, my shipping cutoff date was actually, you know, last week. Uh, I just want to let you know that there is a chance that it won't arrive on time. Do you still want it? I would rather cancel an order right when it's placed rather than have somebody leave me a bad review or, you know, their, their item come late and then be really, really mad. If they bought it for Christmas and they want it by Christmas, I would rather cancel it before I ship it out. If it's going to lead to a bad review, wouldn't, I mean, doesn't that sound like the, the better option? So just. Absolutely. Start, start thinking about I, I found people because I make everything from scratch as well. I, I do totally what Stella says we shouldn't, um, but um, I make everything from scratch. So I cut off like way earlier than that. And what I found is people that came to me a few years ago and I couldn't make their thing in time for Christmas, they came back for birthdays and then they came in October to buy for Christmas. So they're definitely... Um, it can make good return customers and you won't get a repeat customer if they're unhappy with you. And there's other things you can do. If people are coming in and buying from you last minute and you say, this is not going to reach you on time. If they're like, but I really want it. You can offer options of just a little downloadable PDF saying this is the thing that you're getting. Um, or you can make your own gift cards. Um, I know Etsy has gift cards, but you can make gift cards for your shop. You know, if people's like, but it's the last the last minute and I really need to buy something rather than just go tough, mate. You should have thought about that. You, sh you can say you can buy them a gift card and then they can choose in January what they want. Yeah, absolutely. So there's plenty you can do. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people. 
we lost connection for a second. A lot of people, I mean, I've never really had an occasion where somebody was super duper upset when I said like, there's no way this is going to arrive on time. Most of the time they're just like, yeah, that's fine. They're just happy to know. They just want to know. So, um, yeah, I agree that 90% of them, when I message and say, yeah, it's not gonna, <laughs> I can't guarantee for Christmas, they're like, I'm fine to wait. And then they do get to the 26th of December and go, when's it getting here? I'm like, <laughs> um, and, uh, with Elaine's comment about, I have one item with a one word tag, but when I click on it, there's no data, can I fix that? And then it said, she said, sorry, I meant how do I get it to say zero items with no tags? There's no listing listed. So basically it's it's flagging it as saying that there's a uh, listing with a one word tag, but there isn't one. Sounds like a more of a bug issue. Can you just send us a screenshot? Because I'm having trouble kind of understanding what you mean, but if you send us a screenshot of it, we can figure it out. Yeah, because if it's a bug, we just need to report it to our super smart bug fixy people. <laughs> yeah, that's it. If you think anything looks really weird, remember support at erank.com and send us as many screenshots as you can because it helps us understand. Because I mean, don't don't expect me to figure out clever clever things just now. I don't even know what month we're in, so <laughs> give us a chance here. <laughs> Um, Anne said, have you seen where it looks like Etsy are upping the support for sellers up, uh, to Christmas? An email dropped into my inbox today. I didn't see that. No, I don't think great. anything. Yeah. I, I was just going to go and look at my email. I'm not touching anything in case we break the internet again. <laughs> so I'm not touching anything, but yeah, I haven't seen anything. Um, that's, that's cool. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what kind of support they can offer us because they, they can't make the shipping go faster. Nope. But it, but it would be nice to be able to like, you know, get a response that week, <laughs> at least maybe, maybe 24 hours is a little, a little of a big wish. Um, but I would love to get a response within a week from them because as of right now, I don't even get that when I reach out to them. I usually have to bug them three or four times to get a response. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. I generally get a response within about a week, but it's 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 not a great conversation if it takes a week to get the next reply. <laughs> so it yeah. takes a while. It's not great. But yes, no no star seller badge for Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia said, do banners show up on the Etsy app? I don't see them on my phone. I do not think they do anymore. I think that you only the only thing that's going to show up is your actual shop owner or your shop photo like where your logo goes yeah they used to didn't they you'd see a little one but i don't use the app so i just remember it used to be there let's see linda said lots of cargo ships not being unloaded here in the u.s that might also affect big box stores might be good for us yeah um i've, I've been hearing hearing whispers of i i am in the u.s i, I think that I, I would hope that my very flat, obviously American accent would <laughs> indicate that I'm in the U.S. Um, but yeah, I've been hearing a lot about that off the coast of California, and um, I'm going to look more into it as well because I want to. I want to know um, if USPS has actually published anything for their annual shipping deadlines. If they've given any like advisories, if they've made any like changes based on what's going on um, because they just published everything about the prices going up and the shipping slowing down for first class. First, it's either that everything first class is affected or first class is the only thing not affected. And I can't remember which it is. Um, if anybody knows, feel free to post it in the comments, but yeah, um, I'll look more into it. Maybe next week I'll be able to give some more insight, but either way, just plan way, way, way ahead. Um, yeah, sounds like it's going to be fun and for any of us that ship to the US yeah this is good important to know as well because if our stuff's sitting in ships that's not great yeah all right I think your name is May uh I use Etsy shipping and it charges a lower shipping fee to customers leaving me an overage I have to pay I double checked and the weight entered for the list or double checked and the weight entered for the listing 
and the actual box weight is the same. Do you know why this happens? So Etsy's charging a lower shipping fee than what she's actually. Right. Yeah. Etsy's charging the customer a lower shipping fee and then charging her more for the shipping labels. I think that's the way around. Um, so you're you're having to pay extra. Um, yeah, that's not good. Um, Sounds like something that you might want to bring up to Etsy. Yeah, I, I've only just started with shipping labels like three times now, and I've had a big problem one time, so I can't really tell you a whole lot about them. Um, and I don't do calculated shipping. I I think the answer would be not to do calculated shipping and put in, if, if that's possible, and just put in what the shipping's going to be. Yeah, um, other suggestion is that if you're doing it by item weight, I would... This is something that my postal, uh, my local postal worker told me several years ago, and it's always remained tried and true. The post office is never going to be upset that you have overestimated the weight on something. Because if you overestimate the weight on something by just a little bit, they're more likely to make money than if you underestimate the weight and they lose money. It is always better to overestimate the weight on something by a little bit. It might be worth it depending on, like, for example, my packages, my products were like two ounces, we'll, we'll say, you know, for a little necklace, like two ounces. Um, I always estimated them at five ounces. And it didn't make a difference in price every once in a while. If they ordered a lot of them, it would, you know, make the difference of a couple cents, which wasn't a big deal to me but if possible try to overestimate but i i agree with pam if you have the ability to just do like a flat shipping price that would probably be better and if you can't you need to reach out to etsy directly because it sounds like something on their end yep and another another little <laughs> charming little bug by etsy isn't it fun <laughs> especially around the holidays yep but that's everything that you see just now, bug eat, see about them just now, because we want to get them fixed when you don't have 20 customers you're trying to ship out to. It's better to fix it, to get it fixed right now. Yeah, no kidding. Lisa said it's uh, first class slows down. Priority mail has an increase on October 3rd and an additional increase around Thanksgiving. FedEx is also temporarily increasing rates. So shipping is going to be more expensive. And first class mail will be slowing down. So if you ship via first class USPS, you want to make sure that you are, um, yeah, you are extending out. Try to I wonder, I wonder how much it's going to slow down. That's uh, December 1st. I, I've, I, I mean, and even Pam, she cuts off sooner than that. But if you don't know when a good time to sh cut off shipping, just do December 1st as your, your standard and then put in your listings, you know, that it, there's a chance that if anything ordered after that won't arrive. That gives it a whole month to Absolutely. arrive. Absolutely. Yeah. And then if you've given yourself that wiggle room, there's always going to be people, there's always going to be things happen, people buying late or whatever else. And if you've got that wiggle room, you have a chance of pleasing them and you haven't promised that you'll get it there. And also, I mean, to be, I used to, I used to go up until the last shipping days and it was so stressful. And now it's so nice. I've cut off before December happens. And yeah, if there's a few to post out, but I'm not panicking, I can go Christmas shopping in December and I can enjoy the music in the malls and just have a bit of fun. Jojo said on the subject of star seller badge, Etsy is saying I didn't reply within 24 hours to a message. I was racking my brain as to how they think this because I always respond immediately to messages. I think it may be that the person sent me two messages in a row and I responded to the second message instead of the first. Live and learn, I guess. Tried to contact Etsy about it but couldn't figure out where to do this. Um, you can contact their support, but the thing is, Etsy knows that there's so many bugs with their star seller badge. My advice would be to not stress too much about it. I know that it's nice to have, but it doesn't have anything to do with your ranking. I had somebody the other day, I had somebody who was like, well, 
I think that it will impact ranking. And I said, okay, but as of right now, it doesn't. And I, it'll be okay. And they're like, okay, well, I disagree because I think someday it will. I'm like, well, you can stress about it. That's fine if you want to stress that hard about it, but it likely won't because Etsy knows how flawed it is. And when Pam's talking to people who work for Etsy who aren't concerned with their own shops having a star seller badge, like it's, as we've said so many times before, it's a little shiny star sticker on our t-shirts. Um, it's supposed to make us feel good and feel special because we have one. But in terms of our overall performance and, you know, shoppers don't see any difference between that badge and all the other badges that we get, like bestseller and free shipping. And there, we get so many little badges now. Shoppers don't know. They don't know. They're not paying attention to all these little badges. I wish they'd launched the star seller just like they launched all the other badges. So we just got it and we're like, oh, I got a different badge. That's nice. Rather than all the weight put on this, the weight put on it for sellers. As Starla says, buyers don't know any different. It's, I mean, I think my shop's sitting on a great shop for gifts just now. So does that sound better or worse than a star seller? It really, customers don't know. Yeah. And, um, May said, Etsy said that star sellers wouldn't have SEO advantages, but I received an email from Etsy with some introduction of individual star seller shops. A link took me to the editor's page on Etsy that had featured star sellers. Should I, or should we start panicking? No, that is no different than Etsy choosing people for their editor's pick. That's just Etsy showcasing people that they think are doing well. The odds of your shop getting selected for an editor's pick are like winning the lottery anyway don't it don't stress about that there's 4.6 million sellers on etsy 4.6 million sellers and they showcase like 10 a month i mean i, I think that you would have a better chance of winning the lottery and if it happens to you that's great that's fantastic should you panic about it? No, absolutely not. I, you have a better chance of walking outside and having, you know, an apple fall on your head. Yeah. So we, <laughs> we knew they were going to do this. It said in the, in the stuff they told us to start with, it was more opportunities to be featured. All their, their editors picks and things. It just makes it a bit easier for the editor to find people go like oh we'll just pick out of this this bunch pick a random one you know <laughs> yeah i mean that's pretty much they're just going through they they're pulling up all the star sellers and going oh that one looks pretty that one looks pretty um but as starla says it's a fraction of a fraction of the people who have the star seller badge that are getting featured um it's the you know it's the same as every other thing that they feature people for like when they were talking about the the medical staff and they were featuring people that had a rainbow in their listings we shouldn't all rush out and get rainbows in our listings <laughs> you know it was just it was just a thing and like i'm pretty sure with all the the issues that Etsy's having with the star seller it's, it's going to start going pretty quiet really soon unless they manage to fix it out but they do this quite a lot. They launch things that might be a good idea. They're testing that like we need to do in our shop. We test things and if it doesn't work, we retire it. So Etsy's testing something. I don't think it's really working. It's causing them a lot of headache. So I think it's going to go quiet pretty soon. Just like ODR did. You know, there are some people now who don't even, I, I mentioned ODR and they're like, what's that? I said, exactly, yep. exactly. Because if you were here, a little over a year ago, ODR was the hottest topic. It was, everybody was freaking out. Oh my God, my ODR percentage, my shop's going to get shut down. Yeah, Etsy snuffed that whole thing out real fast. Now it doesn't even exist anymore. So, and that was the hot thing that everybody stressed about. I, when it comes to Etsy, the best thing that you can do, it's almost like when, when like, when politics are stressful and you make the move to just turn off the TV and not watch the news. That's kind of what you have to do with Etsy. If there's something important that you need to do, people like Pam and I will let you know during E-Rank Q&As, you know, find yourself like a good 
Etsy influencer to watch who stays up to date on the news and the things you need to do. Pam and I are really good about staying up on top of that stuff and letting you know what you need to do. Um, but when it comes to Etsy introducing all these little things, don't, don't lose your mind focusing on that because most of the time it's not important. Yeah. A lot of these things, some people freak out at every mail that Etsy sends them and think they have to do the things, which hopefully everyone's realizing is impossible just now because Etsy emails me every time someone likes something in my shop. Every, you know, it's like you're, sh yeah. you're processing times too long. Your shipping prices are too dear, this, that and the other thing. And then we're going to get mails about, shouldn't you be having a Halloween sale? Shouldn't you be having a Black Friday sale? Shouldn't you be doing this? These are all suggestions. Just take them as suggestions. And if they don't work for your shop or you don't want to do them, just ignore them. I'm ignoring quite a lot of things from Etsy. They're, they're suggestions and things like, I mean, yeah, these Black Friday sale things are going to come up. Do a Black Friday sale if you want to do a Black Friday sale for the percentage off you want to do and for the time period you want to do. Um, Eatsies wants to do things so that they can promote it, but it's exactly the same as the people in the mail out for the star seller. They'll pick like 10 people and those 10 people will be featured for having the sale. Nobody else will get any bonus for doing what Eatsy said. Yeah, and you can... You know, they they always have their their sale over. You have to do it for this many days. You have to do at least this percentage. You'll see just as you'll have just as much luck doing it on your own. You will have just as much luck choosing your own percentage, running it however many days you want to run it and promoting it on your own social media. You will have more luck doing it that way than following Etsy's little special guidelines, because either way, the shoppers don't know any different. They don't care. They're just shopping. They're not looking to make sure, oh, okay, let's make sure that this seller fits all my criteria. Okay, they have a star seller badge. They're running a 30% off sale. They offer free shipping. Do you guys do that? Because I don't when I shop and nobody else does. Definitely either. not. <laughs> no. um, Samantha said completely off topic. Is that a giant bean bag? It is. It Ooh. is a giant. Can you see how big it is? <laughs> It is. <laughs> oh, I totally want that. That is so cool. <laughs> it is a very big. Yeah, they've got those. Um, what are they called? Love sack bean bags, and they are super expensive. They're like two thousand dollars for a bean bag, and I'm like, man, there's got to be a cheaper alternative. So I found a brand called Lounge Pug, and uh, it's like half. <laughs> more than half the price um of those love sacks let's see that looks so cool i although i probably would not be I, i'd be stuck in it for days so it's as well not to have one sorry i, to get out I, of. I couldn't do the life this week because i was stuck in a giant bean bag it's entirely stylus fault <laughs> i do get stuck in it if i because you have to like form your butt groove into it almost like where you want your butt to be depending on what position you want to lay in and uh, occasionally I'll get the butt groove too much in the middle so that I'm like in the middle of the donut and my little <laughs> legs are just, I can't get out. I'm kicking around trying to get out of it. Let's see. Okay. And in, uh, in reference to the mail, Linda said they said slow down by 30% in the article. And Lisa said they're saying three to five days total time, but it will take longer for the mail delays so well at least they're letting us know i suppose but yeah that's that's tough but we know mm -hmm. it's going to be a busy time the world's still crazy yeah it, it is what it is we just have to we just have to work around it yeah and you know another thing i've had a lot of people talk about how oh you know online shopping isn't going to be nearly as popular this year as it was last year because last year everything was pandemic driven and people weren't getting out and doing the black friday shopping in stores and now you know um people are going to be able to flock to stores and they're all going to want to shop in stores that is so not true that there are so many people that are i mean obviously there are still the the health risks but 
there are so many people who have gotten so used to being in their house. I don't know about you guys, but when I am out in public, I mean, I'm fully vaccinated. And when I'm in public, I am still, because I've just kind of been away from people for so long, I feel like the walls are closing in on me when people start like getting around me. My social anxiety is so much worse. And I know that, I mean, there, I know that it's a thing because I'm seeing it all over the place, all of these different, um, like, therapy apps and things to talk about that kind of social uh, disassociation. And uh, I'm even my daughter's school has a thing where the kids can go in and talk if they're having trouble adapting back socially after being isolated. People are still going to want to stay home and shop. And all of these people who learned how to shop online for the first time, I'm talking about, you know, elderly individuals who, who, you know, used to have to stress about getting out and doing their shopping. They realize, oh, wow, it's so much easier to do it online. They've learned a whole new world. I think that this year's, I mean, it might not be as insane as last year, but it's still going to be a fantastic holiday season online. So don't assume that it's going to be a crappy year. I think that it's going to be, you know, if anything, it'll it'll be a little bit easier to, to manage um, because we kind of know what to expect. Like last year was almost like a, for a lot of us, it was stressful because we didn't know what to expect. We had no idea that the mail was going to slow down. We had no idea. Now we can prepare ourselves and we can make sure that we're ready. So, yeah. And each C stats itself, you know, the the revenue that's been been sold, it hasn't taken a big tank this year compared to last year. We thought it would. Um, I think online retail as a whole didn't have, you know, it had last year had the big spike in quarter two. And regular online retail kind of flattened off and was slightly less than last year. But Etsy was actually up on quarter two last, you know, this year. So we're it, it's looking OK. I mean, I was just thinking, as Starla was saying about the people who've who've learned to online shop, there, there's always that joke about the, the guys leaving it to the last minute to rush into the petrol station. These guys that leave it to the last minute now have online accounts to shop. Um, and I'm, all of my friends, we're we're all saying it. It's literally, yeah, we knew how to online shop before, but just about every day, I'm getting an email from Amazon or something or Hermes going, "We have your parcel." Like, what did I buy now? Seriously, <laughs> and I I think quite a lot of us are like that now. We're we, we might some of us might go out to the shop. Some with style, or I've not been to any big shops or anything yet. Um, but we're still going to do a big chunk of our shopping online because we've learned how to do it. I, I think it's going to be all right. Yeah. In the U S you watch for anybody who's not in the U S like get on YouTube and just search black Friday stampede. I mean, there, there are hundreds of people banging on the doors at the stores waiting for them to open them. That way they can all flood in. There have been people who have fallen and literally been trampled trying to get in just to get a TV. I don't want that. There are a lot of people who don't want to do that. I don't want to be in the middle of that. I want to sit in my pajamas with my leftover Thanksgiving pie. And I want to do my online shopping, you know, safely. Um, and then, you know, there's also the advantage because it's not just Black Friday. We get Black Friday. You get Small Business Saturday. Sunday, you get to take a little break. And then you have Cyber Monday. So if you really wanted to do it, you could have a four day long sale and hit all of those. Um, I, I, what I like to do is I will do the sale on black Friday. And if I get so many orders that I literally cannot handle anymore, I cut it off at black Friday. But if I'm not satisfied with the, the amount of sales that I received, I extend it to small business Saturday. And if I'm still not satisfied, I will extend it out until cyber Monday. So that's always an option as well. Um, I stop accepting orders for Christmas just before Black Friday. I don't know what I'll do this year, but and mm. people like Starla was saying, people say she's leaving money on the table. People say that to me, but my stats still have my my sales still have that spike at Black Friday, even though I have no sale and I'm telling people I won't get it to them in time for Christmas. I still see a peak in sales at that time. So yeah, have have a sale do these things if you have the good social media following that you can promote it and you can get 
get this get seen and everything i see so many people have a sale and they think they're just going like have a sale and the customers will come but it doesn't work like that like starla did awesome with her sales because she has rabid fans she has repeat customers that spend that you know that buy a lot of stuff from her so she can say i have a sale coming and people are sitting there champing at the bit going starla's got a sale we've got to jump on this exactly samantha said i have star seller and it absolutely doesn't matter at all really don't care about it it makes little difference at all maybe one day in the future it will impact our shop and i honestly will worry or stress about it will not worry or stress about it until that happens i don't think it ever will so yeah um yeah, I've heard a lot of people are saying a lot of really big shops that are suddenly doing great are saying we don't have star seller and we're still doing great. And a lot of people that have star seller saying they've not seen any uptick, uptick nothing better has happened. And my worry is things are about to pick up. So people who get their star seller for October might be looking at it and going, look, my sales have picked up. They were going to anyway, you know, so don't yeah. don't associate it with the, the star seller it really is not going to do anything much yeah and said too many people stressed over the star seller badge in august and less in september but are these people missing focusing on their stores so putting all their focus into the star seller badge i mean it never hurts to apply to customers quickly um but there are so many things i would rather focus on than trying to get that star seller badge uh photography branding if i have to leave a message for 24 hours so i can reshoot every single photo in my shop to prepare for the holidays i would rather do that than have crappy photos i mean and not to mention this whole reply within 24 hours thing i i am a big fan of don't work on weekends like i am a huge do not because i mean even customers kind of grow to expect that you're not going to reply until monday I've never had anybody get mad because I didn't reply on a on a Saturday night, you know. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of the whole reply in 24 hours thing anyway, just because I think that it builds almost like we're, we're business owners for a reason because we want to control our schedule and we want that freedom. And I'm not at the beck and call of those who email me on a Saturday night when I'm spending time with my family, you know, so. Yeah, I think that there are better ways to, to spend your time. Obviously, reply quickly. Um, don't leave them hanging for a week, but yeah. Yeah, and it could be, people could be focusing on this and at the expense of their customers. If you're spamming all your customers' messages that you forgot to answer in and, you know, marking them as spam, that's not cool. You know, if you're jumping through hoops for each seat at the expense of your customers, then yeah, the star sellers yeah. are doing the really the wrong thing. Yeah. Madin said, hello guys, hope you're doing fine. I am doing rad. Uh, is copy for new similar listings? Uh, oh wait, okay. So copying similar listings to make new listings, can that blame can that be blamed for my ranking or something else? Because since doing that, my views and clicks are dropping badly by 50% or 50 to 70%. It shouldn't have any effect on your ranking at all. Um, that listing, if you're copying a listing, I mean, Pam and I have talked to about it multiple times now. I, I seldom create a new listing from scratch. I almost always copy a previous listing that is similar. Uh, that listing will be treated as a brand new listing in terms of its uh, listing quality score. Uh, it's it's just like if you were to start a new listing, all you're doing is taking a couple steps out of the process by already having some of those things filled out. So there's no reason that that should be negatively impacting your ranking. Um, is that overall your shop overall is getting less views and clicks? What specifically is getting less views and clicks? The listing you copied from, the new listing you've created, your shop as a whole, what specifically is going down? Because there's no there's no logical reason why that would be happening. It could just be a more of a coincidence thing. Yeah, I think there's more to to look into for that. I mean, that is quite a drop. Um, but 
these things happen what time period are you looking at as well um where were your views coming from that they're no longer coming from there anymore you know were you getting the views in search and you're not getting the views in search it's it's worth, yeah so it's worth looking into all of that and remember guys we are moving into a new month as Stala reminded me so in a few days we should have the data for September up so you can check and see if keywords have been a bit more quiet for September because some things some search terms get less popular and some get more popular because as words customers use change so check out uh, I'm not sure when we'll get the data. I haven't heard that, but it should be soon. Um, and so yeah, between the fifth and seventh. Yep. So yeah, check check next week and make sure that your keywords are still popular. Yeah. Let's see. The by the time we by the time we do next week's Q and A, it should we should have the new data. So. Um. Brian said our numbers going into the holiday season so far are about 1.5 to 1.75 times what they were last year. So Brian, I mean, Brian, you're always doing phenomenally well. And if you're talking, you're talking about your, um, you kind of sell spooky, spooky ish items anyway, that has been the, the whole like goth girl summer. Now we're going into like the goth girl fall. I think that that's, the new uh the new trend is the more like gothy spookier things i'm starting to see it very uh you know when you go shopping at target and you notice that they've got like some different like witchy moon cycle earrings you're like target <laughs> yeah but it's definitely the fashion i think it was the kardashians that are were seen out and about in very gothic looks so yeah but everybody everybody copies these things so yes it's <laughs> it's a year for the gothic things you know when you think of goth girls you think of the kardashians <laughs> <laughs> not not like elvira no no it's the kardashians and apparently my friends keep telling me but there's going to be a new adams family series coming out soon based on wednesday adams so yay that should be cool and that that helps all the the aesthetic as well yeah i saw that let's see samantha said i never do any sales uh on black friday and i'm still super busy yeah um when your products are so giftable stamped keychains like that's that is such a perfect stocking stuff stuffer and it's not like somebody is paying a hundred dollars for it so it's one of those things that they can just stick in their cart real quick you know they're like oh I'll just toss this in you know um so that's that's great yeah i mean we we're floating up on everyone else's sales it's great because people wait till black friday they're wanting to do their sales anyway they'll buy from a few people that are having the sale but they come to your shop they're not going to go Oh, I'm not going to buy from her. She's not having a sale. So like they they have got their their credit cards out. They're here to buy. So yeah, we we get the sales as well without having to to make cuts in our in our profit margin. It's great. <laughs> Let's see. Linda said people have asked me about messages. Uh, I'm assuming in terms of the the star seller badge. I tell them to set up auto reply, but you have to do it every five days. Yep, yep, you can yep. only set it for, um, you, you can set it, like if you wanted to just put it on for the weekend, you could say you put it on for two days. You can put it on for up to five days um, is the option. And Etsy suggests if you were going to be not answering for longer than five days, you should go on vacation. I don't necessarily agree with that suggestion, but that's Etsy's suggestion. Um, but yeah. Yes, the auto reply is a bit of a, it, it's handy. If you're going away for a couple of days, it's a good thing. Or if you were going to do a photo shoot all weekend or something, you could put it on. But yeah, having to reset it every five days is a pain. All right. Well, we are down to the three minute mark. So let's go ahead and go over the super important information that Debbie needs them to know uh, before we go. If you, do you want to 
Uh, yeah, sure thing, guys. Don't forget, first thing, as always, remember and hit the bright orange, that side, bright orange refresh data button <laughs> on your, um, in your E-Rank account if you haven't for a little while. That allows our little E-Rank robot to go into your Etsy shop and suck the latest data and make sure everything's nicely up to date. Um, if you're having trouble with listings looking funky, that might be the reason, so make sure and do that. But more more urgent as well, check how old your browser is. You might need to update to the more recent version of your browser. Um, as things are moving on and everything, we've had to stop supporting some really old browsers um, because that's security issues and stuff. So make sure your browser's up to date. It's it's good just not, not for E-Rank, but for like your entire being online experience. Yeah, and if you don't know how to do that, just pop into Google. Uh, or whatever search engine you use, Bing, <laughs> whatever it might be, and just type in the name of your browser. It should take you right to their website. And if you need to update it, there you can just click on whatever the first link. It is probably going to lead you to the page where you can update your browser. Um, so, and and just out of curiosity, um, we're kind of trying to figure out. We've heard whispers that Opera. Uh, the Opera browser is experiencing some issues with E-Rank, but mm, my husband uses it and we haven't been able to replicate any issues. If for any reason you primarily use Opera, I know it's more of a techie, um, like online gamers tend to prefer Opera. Uh, but if it's a browser that you primarily use and you've experienced any issues, could you do us a big favor and let us know uh, via support at erank.com? Um, and let us know exactly what the issue is. If you've got any screenshots, that can be helpful as well, because we just need to know if this is an ongoing issue, because um, we want to make sure that it's that it's working for for Opera as well. Opera is becoming a big thing. Have you have you heard anything about this, Pam? I I've known of it for forever, but I've never never looked into it. Yeah, it's getting really really big all of a sudden with uh with gamers and stuff because you can like. You can leave everything up. You can leave all your like your Facebook Messenger and everything can just be up perpetually on a sidebar on the left hand side of your desktop and you don't have to have Facebook open. So it's all kind of like an all in one. I haven't switched because I have my whole life through Google, but my husband loves it and he keeps trying to get me to switch over to it. But I'm I'm one of those people where even if something is better, I will stick to whatever I know best. Yeah, same. And, you know, Google will copy it soon enough. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> All right, guys. It is four on the dot. Thanks so much for hanging out. We will be here next uh, next Thursday. By then, we should have some good, fun new data for you. Uh, I will be going live tomorrow on my YouTube channel. You can find me at Starla Moore. I don't know exactly what we're going to be talking about, but it will be something Black Friday related because we are getting into our big holiday season prep. I'm also going to have a big Black Friday freebie um available tomorrow for anybody who doesn't know where to start who doesn't know what to do who doesn't know how to advertise you don't know what type of sale to do you don't know what order to do things how to set it up where to advertise how to make advertisements things like that um this freebie is going to include all of that so i will be announcing that tomorrow during our episode of the friday bean and you can find me by searching starla moore on youtube and then you get a break on Saturday to hopefully, you know, shoot some shop photos or refresh, you know, maybe your descriptions are a little out of date. Maybe you need to go and add that about section you've been putting off. And then Sunday, you can hang out with Pam. What are you making on Sunday, Pam? Uh, I am trying to, for those that don't know, I make needle felted critters and we, which are made out of wool generally, but we're trying to make a vegan dog on, uh, on Sunday see how that goes i'm glad you clarified because if you just said we're going to make a vegan dog <laughs> i just imagined like one of your dogs but with like a plate of kale <laughs> yeah that would not be working <laughs> <laughs> all right guys and you can find pam's channel by searching pam duffy so while she is crafting she's got more of a casual chat where you could ask her questions and hang out while she is making a vegan dog <laughs> 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 uh, all right guys thanks so much for hanging out and we will see you next week bye bye, bye, -bye.